Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. So for a while I've been thinking about doing a video where I showed you all of my Latafa fragrances, but since I keep, I've kept adding more and more Latafas to my collection, I've been postponing that video for quite a while. But since it's the end of the year, I decided that it's about time to show you all my Latafa fragrances and rank them in one video. Now, just a quick disclaimer, this is a ranking based on how much I've enjoyed those fragrances and how much I've been using them, not necessarily how good they actually are. So let's start. This video, as short as possible, I have a total of 17 Latafa fragrances which are sitting in front of me and I'm gonna rank them uh, based upon the fact that how much I've enjoyed using them and how much I've actually used them. So let's start with number 17, uh, which is going to be the Latafa Kaltat Al Arabia. Now this is a very sweet, very dense, uh, sweet, jammy type of sweetness uh, fragrance. Uh, it's leaning towards the feminine side and uh, the, probably the reasons why I have not used this uh, very much is the fact that it's like a bit uh, too sickly sweet uh, for my taste and also because uh, the whole scent is a bit uh, feminine leaning, at least to my nose. At number 16, uh, I have the uh, one of the recent uh, purchases from Latafa for me, which is the Anna Abiat Rouge. Now, this is a clone of uh, Baccarat Rouge uh, 540. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a clone of uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 done with a bit of a Latafa twist on it. Uh, it's sweet, it's powdery, uh, but again, another very feminine leaning uh, scent, at least to my nose. That's why I have not used it that much. At number 16, we have the uh, Latafa Velvet Oud, which is another sort of a clone fragrance. And this is a clone of Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Now again, to my nose, a bit of uh, feminine leaning scent. You have some uh, fruits in the opening and leather uh, on the dry down. The, re the other reason why I have not used this uh, that much is uh, the fact that uh, the, the leather record uh, is somehow un unpleasant to my nose for some reason. Otherwise, good projection, good performance, uh, very cheap. At number 15, we have the uh, Latafa Ejazi which is uh, not a straight up clone of anything, but uh, it's a uh, sort of uh, carries the same DNA as uh, Savage EDT. It's a citrusy, uh, spicy opening. It has a citrusy, spicy opening and then dries down to a number, uh, vetiver, ambroxan type of smell. Relatively good performance, six to seven hours with a relatively good projection. The problem that I have with this fragrance is the fact that I get nose blind to it very quickly but it's a nice versatile fragrance. At number 13, I think uh, it's the uh, Opulent Oud. Now this is a very unique uh, type of scent. It's almost like a niche type of scent. It has rose, it has uh, fruits, it has uh, woods in it. It's a very long lasting, in fact, it's a beast uh, performing fragrance with beastly projection. Uh, the only problem I have with this fragrance is the fact that there is a still wine note in the opening which uh, really uh, has stopped me from using this fragrance more. But other than that, I got compliments for it. It's uh, very uh, cheap and, uh, as I said, very beastly performing, unique type of scent. At number 12, we have the uh, Latafa Confidential Private Gold. This is another very sweet, fruity, powdery type of scent. Again, uh, another scent that's uh, more feminine uh, leaning to my nose. Um, it's, a, it's an airy type of powdery sweetness, uh, good performance, good projection, <clears throat> but just too feminine for my nose. But uh, to be honest, out of all of the feminine leaning scents, probably I've enjoyed this one the most. At number 11, we have the Latafa Rams Gold. This is another sweet fragrance. Uh, here, what has stopped me from using it uh, a lot and why it's down the order in this list, I don't know, again, maybe a bit of feminine leaning scent. Uh, it has sweetness, fruity sweetness, a bit of a bitter note uh, somewhere in the background, not overly sweet. 
Also, it carries on the dry down. It carries some similarities to uh, Alexandria 2 by Zerjov. Again, very good performance, very good projection. But for some reason, I've been not using this one uh, a lot. At number 10, we have the uh, Badia Al Oud or uh, the Oud for Glory. Now, this is a straight up clone of uh, Initials Oud for Greatness. What you have here is a uh, slightly spicy opening with lavender and then some patchouli, some oats and some musk on the dry down. Um, on the dry down it also, uh, to my nose, uh, shares some similarities with uh, Savage Elixir's dry down. Faint similarities, but they are there at least to my nose. Uh, for some reason, I don't know, but I've not been enjoying uh, this one a lot uh, since I got it and that's why it's at number 10. At number 9 we have the... Latafa Fakhar Black. Now again, this is a sort of a clone or heavily inspired fragrance and this one is inspired heavily by YSLY EDP. Uh, although there are some uh, differences here, this is uh, sweeter, less sharp in the opening, uh, less citrusy in the opening compared to YSLY EDP. Actually, it's a bit more enjoyable to my nose uh, compared to YSLY EDP. And again, it's uh, relatively down the order because I don't enjoy the original as well. At number eight, we have the uh, Kaet Al Fusang. This is a uh, straight up uh, pineapple bomb. Very sweet, uh, very realistic type of pineapple. It's actually a uh, very enjoyable scent to me. Uh, the only problem I have with this one is it's a, a bit of a too youthful type of scent and I'm not that young anymore. But other than that, Dirty cheap with relatively good performance and a very nice, very realistic uh, pineapple, pineapple note in the opening. At number seven in my uh, Latafa list is going to be the Shake Out Shook Final Edition. Now, this is yet another YSLY uh, EDP inspired fragrance, uh, but this is even less uh, close uh, to the original YSLY EDP. It differs from that and from the Fakar Black as. Uh, being uh, even less sweet in the opening, less uh, citrusy, less sharp in the opening. It's a bit darker, it's a bit denser, a bit more mature version of uh, YSLY EDP and uh, Fakhar Black. And actually out of all of the YSLY EDP clones that I have, I've been enjoying Shake, shake Out Shook the most. At number six in my list is going to be the Latafa Kaet. A great looking bottle, very nice, sweet uh, little fragrance inside. It's sweet, you have cardamom, uh, cinnamon, uh, sandalwood, vanilla, uh, agarwood, amber, leather. It's a sweet uh, cinnamony type of fragrance with a touch of wood and uh, leather somewhere in the background on the dry down. It's not overly sweet, uh, perfectly unisex in my opinion. Uh, good performance, good projection and uh, that's why it's towards the... Uh, upper part of my list. At number five in my Latafa list is going to be the Riot Silver. This is one of the newest additions to my uh, collection. What we have here is another pineapple based uh, fragrance, but the pineapple here is not as sweet as realistic as it is with uh, the uh, Kaeta of Fusan, for example. This fragrance uh, shares uh, sort of the same DNA with the Cedrat Boise, Cedrat Boise Intense family. It also has some distant connection uh, to Creed Aventus as well, but it's not a clone of any of uh, those fragrances. I've been really enjoying this one so far. Good performance, good projection, uh, a really nice addition to uh, my Latafa collection. At number four, we have the Latafa Rams Silver. Now this has nothing in common with uh, the Latafa Rams Gold. This here is a straight up clone of Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramel. Uh, like Ultramel, you have the pure sweetness in the opening. Uh, that's where it's very close uh, to Ultramel and it's closer to Ultramel compared to the other famous clone of Ultramel, which is 9 p.m. from Afnan. On the dry down, it starts to go a bit on its uh, own direction. It's not as sparkly, as sharp in the opening, not as sweet in the opening as uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramel. But nonetheless, I've been enjoying this one. Relatively good performance, relatively good projection, dirty cheap, less than $20. Uh, a nice addition to my collection. At number three, we have the Latafa Assad. Now, again, we all know what that is. This is uh, probably the most famous clone of... Uh, Savage Elixir at this point. 
what you get here is a the Savage Elixir DNA, but done in a slightly different way. Here, the Assad is slightly sweeter, less sharp in the opening. The lavender is less pro is less prominent here. It's like a, a bit of a sweeter, more mature version, more crowd pleasing version of uh, Savage Elixir. Very good performance, very good pro projection, a compliment gather. Uh, again, another nice fragrance from the House of Latafa. At number two in my collection and in my ranking is going to be the uh, Latafa Camera, another hyped up beast at the moment. Uh, great uh, looking bottle, great presentation. What you get here is a super sweet uh, vanilla cinnamon type of fragrance with a strong boozy note. I've been really enjoying this one. It's supposed to be a clone of uh, uh, Killian's Angel Share. I've never tried Angel Share, so I cannot compare it to that fragrance. But this on its own is an absolutely fantastic little scent, especially very good for the current weather outside. I've really been enjoying uh, the camera a lot since ever since I got it. And at number one in my uh, ranking of all of my Latafa fragrances is going to be the Amir Al Oud from the House of Latafa. Probably one of my best findings of the year so far. What you get here is a sweet, woody, smoky uh, fragrance. Very well bland blended, uh, very well rounded off. Not overly sweet. The sweetness here comes from like a sugary or burnt caramel type of sweetness. Some nice woodsy note, beginner friendly woodsy note, and some co uh, some um, smokiness uh, in the background. A really uh, cozy type of smell. I've really been enjoying this one. Very good performance, very good projection, nice bottle, dirty cheap. Uh, as I said, one of my best findings of the year so far. And in number one from all of my Latafas. And so, in today's video, I tried to show you all my Latafa fragrances and rank them based on how much I actually enjoyed them. Uh, I hope that I was uh, quick enough without being too boring. I hope that you found this video entertaining. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, stay safe, and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.